everybody, so quick little vlog time. Thought I'd talk very quickly about my thoughts on Captain Marvel. Just got back uh, from the theater with the family. And I really liked it. I thought it was really good. Um, I do, or I did find it very suspect, very interesting, funny how there were people already online going out of their way. And I heard about the movie getting review bombed and a lot of people online talking about how, like, this is going to be the worst Marvel movie ever. And the whole time I'm thinking, like, it's not even out yet. Is it? And, you know, and my sister had told me, like, some odd weeks ago that her and her friends were planning on going and she wanted to know if I wanted to go too. And I said, sure, just tell me the day and the time. And hopefully I can make it when I'm not busy working. Sure enough, that was today. So, and, uh, I mean, it's funny, too, because I remember, specifically with Black Panther, that getting, like, rave reviews and, uh, and people calling that, like, oh, like, this is, like, like, the best superhero movie ever. And I came out of it thinking, I liked it. I don't think it was the best superhero movie ever made, though. Um, and then, I mean, hearing people... I mean, granted, I didn't watch any of them, mostly because I didn't want spoilers, you know, or anything like that, and I didn't, you know, you know, I wanted to go into this movie with my own opinion, after all, which, which I think is always the best way to really go into anything, really, is with your own opinion, and, and yeah, I really liked it, I thought it was very entertaining, very funny, uh, I thought the I thought the lead uh, Brie Olson was very good as Captain Marvel. Um, I'm not sure because I know that I had heard that she was involved in some controversy online that she said something stupid. Um, I don't know the full extent or details of it. So, uh, but I also thought it was, of course, like I would like to avoid controversy or anything like that, but you know it's hard not to when that sort of shit comes up but you know and it's funny too because i was going into this kind of expecting it to be a fairly mediocre film just a very by the numbers film and that didn't feel like that at all um there were quite a few twists that i didn't see coming uh if you don't want spoilers i will just say now uh spoilers so the main villains of this film are well you're led to believe that it's the scrolls and i don't know a lot about the scrolls other than the fact that they're shapeshifters but about maybe more than halfway through the film you find out that the scrolls are not actually the bad guys it's actually the kree that are the bad guys which that really should not have been so surprising seeing as how uh, what was the bad guy's name in the first, um, Guardians of the Galaxy movie? He was supposed to be, like, one of the, like, big leaders of the Kree, I think. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, you know, when he's, you know, in charge of you, like, yeah, they're probably bad. And, and I actually really like how the movie starts with kind of you know just kind of throwing you into it and then giving you captain marvel's sort of backstory and even her origin and even telling you that like well what she's been led to believe was her origin really isn't true and that she had been lied to almost her entire life you know by decrees that they you know manipulated her lied to her did teach her to be a weapon you know, did teach her how to survive and how to be tough and, and everything. But, you know, they took away who she was as a person. Which, I guess the Kree do. Of course, I'm not supremely familiar with that. Um, but, yeah, overall, um, I gotta give this movie a high recommendation. This was... 
This was about as good, if not a little bit better, than what Wonder Woman was. And I liked uh, Wonder Woman, too. I thought that was a good movie. And apparently that had some controversy behind it, too, with the fact that there was a female lead. And I'm wondering, why is that such a big deal? And why now, especially? It's 2019, for Christ's sake. Grow up. Now, yeah, I can understand if the, I mean, you know, if the person who was maybe playing the lead or anything like that, if if they were just a really, really shitty person. Like, if right now, if we had a movie with a male lead that was being played by Kevin Spacey, you know, or, you know, or something to that equivalent. You know, but, I don't know, I just don't understand it. But, anyway. Well, anyway, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think uh, down in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves.